Now on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a franchise in New Jersey. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me syphilis and a franchise in New Jersey. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Now she gave me some sort of speech about how I've lost my vitality in the bedroom. To which I coldly explained to her that maybe if she'd laid off the biscuits and country gravy for a few months, that maybe, just maybe, my vitality would magically return. Syphilis and a franchise in New Jersey. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a recipe for spicy chili. She's a fat bitch, syphilis, and a franchise in New Jersey. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five fraternity tests. That chili recipe, and you know what, this is really kind of bugging me now, because I just can't get over the fact that my wife, the one who says that I have been depleted as a man, depletes my bank account on a daily basis, has the gall and audacity to claim to me that my penis no longer functions in the way a man's penis ought to function in the bedroom. This is the reason men have whores, and maybe the reason on the next day I got syphilis and a franchise in New Jersey. Are we still doing this goddamn song? There's 12 of them? <laughs> Son, the only thing there are in the Colonel's book are 11, and we ain't going there today. How many days of Christmas? 12, son of a bitch. The only people that celebrate that many goddamn things in a holiday season is those stinking Mohammedans, and there's a reason they're back there in the 5th century. No, sir, the colonel is done here. What's that? Oh, you can give them their goddamn money back. I ain't finishing the song. <laughs> you can kiss my white hairy balls. I got a horsey. That sweet thing from Guadalajara. She called him my name. Mm. Mm. Merry Christmas.